friends it's pretty early to be doing some model kit building let's redo this because it's not a good start when I'm reaching for coffee <laughs> um, you know what screw it we're just going straight into it not editing see I'm half asleep what is it 6 30 in the morning do you know where your children are not out partying still. I can't do that anymore. Party till six in the morning and then uh, go to work the next day like I used to when I was younger. Oh, that's brutal. Get like two hours of sleep, you know? Now I like get eight hours of sleep and I'm still tired. Anyways, cheers. Good morning. Mmm. Hazelnut coffee. That's not bad. A little bit strong. I mixed it to mo this morning. Eh, that's okay. We need it to get our eyes open. Anyhow, let's turn the camera around and show you what we're thinking of doing on the bench today. What are we going to work on, Chuck? So I was trying to decide whether I should continue on with the Holloway hauler and get this thing finished up or progress on to my official unveiling of the Mustang Group build, the 60th anniversary and I think by popular demand you guys asked for it this kit build this kit and you know what by what I think I wouldn't mind doing this kit either I thought about doing the newer Shelby but I've, I, I'm against that now because uh, I've got bigger plans for it so we've got one year to build this kit so <laughs> actually no not one year uh, maybe nine months I think now because it was unveiled in April and we have to reveal this sorry I can't open it and hold the video camera at the same time and I don't have a tripod right now on me so um, hold on we'll come back and I don't remember what's in this box so we're gonna open it up and take a peek at it it looks like a fairly large scale this kit uh, let's check the box does it say, yeah, it is a 124th, which I kind of thought it was, because 125th is usually quite smaller. Now, being a dark, dungeony day, we got rain, which is a good thing. Our rain coming today, and colder weather, which is great for that wildfire, because we can get rid of that, so hopefully it puts it out. Uh, the body on this kit looks really nice, actually really really nice it's got that new plastic I'm not sure if I like that newer style plastic not exactly like the Mobius plastic but similar it's more of a hard plastic not a soft plastic now uh, look at this oh you know what oh yeah I did open it sorry I wasn't sure if I opened it now I had opened this to get the decals to Rob at scale, what's the name of his channel, I forget, Time Machine Scale Models here, something like that. Uh, he got the decals out of this, I don't want them, it's got the gold decals. I would like the drag version vec decals out of the other kit, you know, that's what I'm kind of curious in because I would like to make this a drag car. I was thinking Pro Tour, but I, yeah, I've got a few, but I would like to do an old school 60s drag car, like a super stock or something to that effect. So we'll be using that hood. We'll be using most of this the way it is, I think. So and destructions are here. Let's go through this quickly. Uh, oh, it has two different windows. Look, at, it's got the Shelby regular slats and it has the glass window. Oh, that's a good option to have. So, yeah, everything looks pretty clean so far on that. That tree looks really good. Uh, dash is typical dash. Yeah, it's got the side panels on already, which is 
make it a bucket style which is pretty good detailing is fairly good on the paneling and of course with, well, I was going back to saying there's not enough light in the room here so you probably can't see things pretty good overall it looks like a fairly basic kit so this one shouldn't take long mostly paint and detail now it's not gonna get these tires and rims that's for sure the rest of the chrome looks yeah so so looks okay you know nothing fancy Ooh, no chrome valve covers interesting uh, I'm missing some stuff did I cut stuff off or is that for oh you know what this engine went into another car that poses a problem aha uh -huh. I might have to go with plan B because there's no engine to this son of a rat I know where the engine is it went into my uh, Ford whatever you call them courier my lord courier hmm I have to think this over now guys I might have to do a different engine hold on hmm okay now I did some digging and searching through my collection of junk and this is what we got for Ford stuff I got a tub t-bird chassis with a 429 boss engine it looks pretty pro stocky so I don't know about that one but that is an option uh, yeah no other Ford engines in there so that one I think I'm better off keeping this for something else I can't see myself doing it so this I'm gonna set by the wayside the also I got this thing it's a tied t-bird this has the old style 351 Cleveland Roche engine in it this looks like an early 90s ish t-bird I think so I'm not positive it doesn't really say 124 scale oh 95 maybe 95 no way they made that t-bird 95 could have but it says something one again in 95 Ricky Rudd blah 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 yeah I don't know but this is complete so that would give it that t-bird engine look to it or t-bird engine sorry that NASCAR cup kind of pro tour look I like the valve covers I like the intake so that is an option other option is last option we got this kit but it's missing the and of course I can't hold on let me take the box off sorry about that ah uh, the body is there I'm not worried about the body bunch of spare parts now this is what I was considering uh, 427 sock engine that would be kind of cool dual fours but who knows where the water pump and fan pulley is if it's even in here and some more it could be in there I don't know some fancy stripes black knight wow there we go but here's what I found look at there's my slicks right there uh, there's a pair of slicks that could go on the with the 60s era Craigers and another set not that wide but you know what that would be my front tires so I'm thinking Craigers so anyways trying to plan things out oh we got some skinnies here skinnies might be better suited to that is there a, oh there's even a pair so see there we go yeah I know I'm still healing from my uh, burn mark uh da 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 the only thing yeah i wish it had a 429 428 that would be the ultimate and uh i don't have any other ford kits other than the ford modular three valve engines and a fuel injected 302 so uh hmm decisions decisions now my friends so that brings us to this point my friends but so that brings us to this point my friends we've decided to do the 66 Shelby however I just haven't 100% sure figured out whether to do a dragster look on this or the pro tour kind of look or street machine I guess somewhat mild street machine that is still up in the air 
Uh, two colors I'm deciding. White or a Wimbledon type of blue color. Um, that's kind of my thinking on this. So we will have to see how things go. I got a couple days to think about it before I... Yeah. <laughs> progress with this and I'll start um, taking everything off the tree and prepping for paint and stuff like that so my friends brings us to the best part cheers time mm. oh yeah thanks for watching my friends I really appreciate it there and we thanks for checking us out chucking us out that's I love that saying chucking us out anyways now I'm just doing blah 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 because I'm tired so Stay awesome until next video. We'll update you. Uh, maybe once every month type of thing. I won't do a final reveal on this until uh, April of next year. So it's going to be a long build. i, I got to go back and check uh, Scale Speedworks rules on this to make sure I'm not posting things I shouldn't be posting. But I'm sure this one's okay because this is my initial unveiling that this is the kit. So, okay, shut up, Chuck. No more blah, blah, blah. We're out.